for fun on route to Cardiff and fully deserving of being here. This, the final hurdle. Leon coming through the quarterfinals and the semi-finals, seeing off strong opposition in the likes of Wolfsburg and Manchester City. Paris seeing off Bayern München and then Barcelona to get here. Who will be crowned Queens of Europe this evening. I talk about the chance to go out on a high as well for the final time. Leona being led by their coach Gerard Prochur, a man who has scattered them to an unprecedented glory in time of the helm. And this is his final 11 that he has selected. Big news is that American international Alex Morgan starts. She has shrugged off a hamstring injury. She's trained all week, having missed the Coupe de France final against Paris, which they won. Ada Hegerberg and Eugenie Le Sommer scored 40 league goals between them this season. Hegerberg opened the scoring in last year's final also. Our referee is Bibiana Steinhaus from Germany. She will also be officiating in the top tier of the German men's game, the Bundesliga, next season in a history-making move really one of the top female officials around as for Paris Saint-Germain they boast some real foul firepower of their own also the Brazilian Christian has six goals in seven you wait for women's Champions League games this term Ashley Lawrence faces up against one of her very good friends Kadisha Buchanan on the Lyon side international teammates with Canada Shelly Cruz was a member of the Lyon side that won their first two Champions League titles under the current Paris coach, Patrice La, The two coaches embrace. What would a moment it could be for that man there, Patrice La, who is looking to be the first Paris Saint-Germain coach to win a Champions League, whether it be with the men's or the ladies' side. He's also the man that led Leon, as I've just mentioned, to their first two Champions League trophies. Gerard Prescher. Says au revoir to Lyon after tonight's final. Could it be leading them to a second successive League Cup and European treble? The stage is set. Cardiff is set for what has been a, a huge week for the city of Cardiff. It has been gripped with Champions League football fever. And to get us underway, the Women's Champions League final ahead of the men's final to be played just a little further east from here, about a mile or so, mile and a half down the road from here. We're underway. This is the fourth meeting between Lyon and Paris Saint-Germain this season. A winner piece in the league and Lyon recently beating Paris on penalties in the Coupe de France final. And will it be drama to the max again here tonight? This is the experienced Wendy Renard. Bundled over, incidentally, is the Japanese international. Kumagi. Leon, one of the, if not the strongest side in European football, and they're simply dressed in success in recent years. So much so that they've just been crowned the French champions for 11 straight years. But it's Paris who are looking to make early inroads here. Threading through the eye of a needle that pass from Christian. And it very nearly worked out. Strong start inside the first two minutes from Paris Saint-Germain. Their familiar colours tonight, and it's white for Lyon. 
the top looking to get Ada Hegerberg involved, the Norwegian for the first time who just scores goals for fun. She did last season at this competition. She was the highest scorer with 13. Lucky for her. She's part of a winning side. Leon just looking to get some early possession under their belts. Fired out to this, this side for Morgan. It'll be a, a huge relief that Leon have such a player of her quality available for the big occasion tonight. Reinhardt. This is Mbok. Harris to come away with it to Christian. That's nicely done from the Brazilian. to try and chase down I mean out to Giallo it's comfortably dealt with by Wendy Renard she's certainly been there done it and got the t-shirt incredible experience that she brings Renard the member of all 11 consecutive winning title teams for Leon it's a staggering show of dedication Winning mentality, also. How do you say? Shelly Cruz to try and shrug off the close attentions of Abili. Won't want to concede any silly free kicks. And Viviana Steinhaus was right on top of that. Proud moment for our referee tonight. She's been given a uh, great boost to her career and also to the women's game. Female officials are to be officiating in the top flight of German men's football next season. He said just to hang it up in there. Kept alive, kept in play. Paris looking to keep the danger on. And Sarah Buadi takes claim and calms down the situation. Here's a bock. Oh, challenge. On Alex Morgan. Grateful of the opportunity to move to France from the United States. Try and look in Europe, and she's found herself at a debut year in a Champions League final. Bock looking for Morgan. To the well. Dicks out across into towards Hegerberg. Just to shoot, the strike does come in, and it's well wide in the end from Amel Majri. Promising from Lyon. Morgan dug out the cross well. There was a, a huge call for Majri to shoot from many inside the Cardiff City Stadium. Hasn't scored in the Champions League this season, but she's managed to lay on three assists. Kumaki. Renard. White for Mbok. Harris falls backwards here. Let's off from Cruz. Cannon, the Canadian international. Kumagi. Now Mbok. Morgan. Break kick of the 
uh, challenge on Formiga. Sticking out a lazy leg, clear free kick. No more than that. Eugenie Le Sommer has, uh, has a very, very successful partnership with Ada Hegerberg this season, scoring 20 goals apiece in the top flight of the uh, women's game in France. Paris Corner to Paris. It's a great crowd inside the Cardiff City Stadium. Over 20,000 tickets as of yesterday have been sold and more, I'm sure, today. Since this final was played in Italy. Here is Le Sommer. Nowhere to go. All the way back to Paris's Polish goalkeeper. Piedri Jenik. Settling very quickly in the first five minutes or so. Leon having a bit more of the ball now. It's been made. This is Marashan. Might still work out this for Leon. It comes across it towards Morgan, but it will be a corner and encouraging for Olympic Leon. Eh? Madashan, great skills. Ashri has to settle for the corner. Defending champions looking to strike first blood in front of those travelling Paris Saint-Germain supporters who've made it from the capital. Not too much in the way of pushing and shoving going on. Be left for Jennifer Madashan to take this corner. Still, the arguments go on with Wendy Renard and Fabiana Steinhaus. So much at stake. Here comes the corner. Flicked on to nobody else in a white shirt, and Paris can try and bring it clear with some pace about them. Bobby Garot towards Christiane. She's lost out. This is Mbok. And Kumagi. Lawrence. Still Ashley Lawrence to the byline, final touch comes off her. She's unfortunate. One thing that she's been speaking about in the build-up to this game is life as a Paris Saint-Germain player and just how she's had to get used to the constant football culture of the city. It's the uh, takeover. The club some years ago now. Saint-Germain have just gone to a, another level in regards to the men's and the ladies' game, which continues to grow. After a, a thumping win against Barcelona for the men's team, in that first leg in the Champions League. The uh, knockout stages, you thought that it might just be their gear, but Barcelona had... Uh, Something to say about that. Here's Le Sommer for Lyon. It's a fire and a cross, it's not been dealt with. And Paris Saint-Germain have got away with it big time. Or have they? Monashan. Here's Mbok. 
Monisham points into where she wants it and Bog just hangs it up there. And that's very well claimed under some pressure from Katashina Kiedrizhenik. Really was very, very awkward. In the end, they got away with it. And this is very, very good goalkeeping. It's always going to be a collision with Le Sommet, who's inevitable. It's missed just one game of their European campaign. But, uh, she seems to be in a bit of discomfort here, doesn't she? In, uh, intentional from Le Sommet, certainly. Just be a sore one into the ribs. Kind of feet and okay. She's a really good shot stopper. And uh, three clean sheets to a name also this season. Shara Pusher has been speaking beforehand that there's simply no coincidence. Now there's two French sides in the final, it just shows the evolution of the league itself. <laughs> Leon seeing off Wolfsburg in the quarterfinals are all repeat of last season's final at Manchester City. Paris Saint-Germain sink off the legs of FC Bayern and FC Barcelona. Nothing clear-cut has been created thus far here. Inside the first 15 minutes. for Lyon. They are actually meeting for the third season running in the competition. And when they met last season, Lyon dominated a, a semi-final with Paris Saint-Germain. They actually won 7-0 at home and then a 1-0 away win, so 8-0 overall. Lissamer finds the support from Mbok, skips away from Christian, but it's a bit of a mess of the cut to cross. Great to see so many supporters have made the trip and making plenty of noise. He's such a man. Some of the more vociferous voices in Ligue 1 and here it is in the uh, Women's Champions League final. So, Abili Awide, Bashri. Just to put the brakes on. Kumagi. Back for Wendy Renard. And Bok. This is a lot of Lusser Mare. So sorry, I had gone out of play, but not according to our assistant. The best of deliveries from Modishan. and well, showing good strength. Her eighth appearance in the competition this season. 
uh, Tunisian descent. He's been at the club all of a career, I know, Majri. Never really had a meaningful playing career, Gerard Pusher. And from Nancy. It was announced in January that he would be making way so, so that he wanted to let everybody know of his decision early on that he didn't take anything away from the success of his side this season actually back for Sarah Buadi made a Champions League debut back in 2006 now. And Leon have got an issue. And this will have been the fear. Some of the other players the chance to... Uh, some needed fluids down them, but the early injury issue to deal with here for Lyon. For Alex Morgan, who's been struggling with that hamstring issue, whether she would have started tonight, it was kept under wraps certainly by Gerard Pusher during his press conference. Wasn't giving anything away. Just the fact that she was back in training and she was feeling good about herself, but maybe she's just felt a slight twinge in that hamstring, which kept her out of the Coupe de France final. She side came out the wrong end of a penalty shootout. And thus, if we all level after 90 minutes tonight, then extra time the potential of penalties will follow as it did last year Shelley Cruz that did up well the Costa Rican who had seven years with Olympic Lyonnais she signed from them in 2012 to win 10 major titles in her time with Lyon. Christian, a bit of space for the Brazilian to work with here. Christian from range, that's ambitious. But why not? Such a talent. Alongside her six goals in seven Champions League games this term she's fired in 11 times in the French League finished 14 points behind Olympic Lyonnais and in third it's the top two that qualify for Europe however if Paris Saint-Germain were to win tonight then they would be playing in the Champions League next season uh, Lee on top of the tree and Montpellier finishing as runners up. Leon losing just once in the league, and that was back in December to Paris, winning 21 of 22 league games, scoring over 100 goals, 103. And get this, they only conceded six times. Staggering, it really is. 20 minutes, and we're still nil nil here in the 2017 final of the Women's Champions League. Avili. Hanad.
an eye on Alex Morgan and seeing how long she can possibly last for. Not seen much of Hegerberg so far. She was a rather peripheral figure in the Coupe de France final. She did step up and win the score the winning penalty in the shootout. So, Alex Morgan is not going to be able to continue. But that hamstring is heavily strapped. That is a huge blow as we approach the midway point of the first half. Huge blow for Lyon. The really change needing to be made. Free kick for Lyon, though. Ekebe keeps it going, keeps it alive. Bernard's touch on. Nothing. Confirmation of the change. Hello, D. Tommies replacing Alex Morgan. Maybe a game too soon for Morgan. A showpiece occasion. Not to be for her tonight. It's become it. Hegerberg to chase down here. Uh, Lusso Mare, in fact. Hegerberg looking to join in. See that Leon do possess with Lusso Mare's incredible pace in behind. Christian with such coolness with the ball at her feet. It's an elegance about her in possession. Still need a keeper has been well and truly challenged as yet. It's been a KG final so far. It's been a glorious day here in South Wales in the Welsh capital, Cardiff. Which is even around kickoff around the 20 degree mark, so very pleasant indeed. Kadisha Buchanan now wide for Mbok. Vision from Abili. Actually getting forwards. The Hegerberg in the center. The board joining in now. Shelly Cruz to calm things down for Paris Saint Germain. A lot of freedom with them both getting forward. It's the right hand side. Tommy's. Look at caught there. No, says Bibiana Steinhaus. One back fairly, though. Le Sommer. That way through so far, this Parisian wall. Delhi. It's a strong challenge from Reinhardt and wins the ball. It's inch perfect from the experienced skipper.
she is again. Given away though, Loretelli. The turn and wide. For the leading scorer with 16 goals in the domestic league this season. Just the three so far in Europe. That's it, the chances from a fair way out, but Leon not helping themselves the way that they gave up position so easily. to try and get on the end of. She's a, a fairly decent substitute to have. 14 goals in 58 games at this particular competition. again I go for the cross here's Buchanan spell of pressure building here for Leon it's a patient game for them so far Buchanan it's more the Canadian but quite on the same wavelength with LED Tommies Christian Risky pass. Kumagi. Le Sommer. Majri. Can Leon turn this pressure into a goal? She's going to get the better of Penny Sen at the moment. And Majri has got the better of her. And she digs out across towards Hegerberg. Brilliantly done again from Amel Majri. Kumagi, score against Manchester City for the semi-finals. Kumagi from the penalty spot. Monishan just dictates things, makes things happen. Kumagi. And Box ball in towards Hengerberg. Has it gone out for the corner? Just to throw it sense that something is about to happen here for Lyon. Those Paris fans are making so much noise. They're getting it back rather easily now as well. And Bock. The Sommer. Testing time for Paris Saint-Germain. Just the second time that they have made the final. Beaten in 2015 by Frankfurt. And if Lyon were to win today, it would equal Frankfurt's record of four Champions League titles. It would already equal Frankfurt's record of reaching six finals. 
the first telling chance of the game, which has been kept out. The opportunity falling to Amel Majri. It's a turning to shut away quickly. Time now. Much of, uh, this first period so far, half an hour has been dominated by Leon, but the threat is here, and this is Shirley Cruz. Cruz goes on. It's a fabulous save, and still, eventually, it's been cleared away to safety. But Sarah Buadi has just shown why she is one of the best goalkeepers around. Three one stuff. Cruz shaping to shoot, and that's a fabulous save. And in the end, her skipper Renard was there to help out and clear it away for a corner. But a huge let off for Lyon. A disbelief from Patrice Letter. Perry said. Take the corner, shot it up well. Oh, and the goalkeeper just about manages to claim it. The most convincing, it has to be said, from Sarah Buati. Oh, it looked as though she'd lost possession and then picked it back up again. Lawrence, coolly done, coolly done. That's very encouraging for Barry Saint-Germain. First clear cut chance falling to the side from the French capital. And it was rather easy, and no wonder Gerard Pusher is not happy with his side so far. And again over the top, and they're stretched again at Lyon. This is Delhi, but the flag is up. Side position. minutes to go till half time Leon nil Paris Saint-Germain now this is Shirley Cruz Paredes Ashri's head up happy Lee set breathing down the neck Thomas Calderon Space here to work with Giallo. Take it on for Paris.
Christian. Get away from the close attentions of Hernard. Gives away the free kick. Just too quick for Wendy Hernard. Joint Leon's youth system. She was just 16 years of age in 2006. So I think she's only 26 now. Pretty much won the lots. Grayson with the free kick. Oh, the header it was a free one. And a free one for Formiga. And she continues Formiga to play at the very highest level. 39 years young she is. Played professionally in Sweden and in the United States as well. She started out back in 1993. Retired last year from international duty, having recorded 160 caps for Brazil. Started for Leon, this incredible European success, 2011 against Turbina Potsdam. And a year later, in Munich, 50,000 Germans against us, said Wendy Renard when they beat Frankfurt. Hegberg's header was towards goal as well. and angled in nicely managed to get it on target Ada Hegerberg she hasn't had much to go up so far Buchanan's got to be quick and careful and she was she might have just been shoved in the back there of the 16th edition of the Women's Champions League. Tommy's she's got some pace about her to try and keep this in and she's done well to try and keep Paris boxed in in the corner. will do. It's Renard. Giro. The pressure from Morishan. in three in all competitions two defeats to Lyon and the cup and in the league they ended their league season with a 2-2 draw with Girondin to Bordeaux Christiane she did well to see get away from Buchanan not to chop Christiane
they were handsomely beaten by Lyon in the league by three goals to nil just six days before they uh, were beaten on penalties in the Coupe de France final to be sick to death of facing Lyon especially if they will to lose again here tonight it's Renard who described the defeat by Paris back in December before the winter break there's a bit of a wake-up call defeated since then in the league that is with the throw. Cannon, little short. And the free kick goes Jalo's way. It's to be a, a late flurry from somebody. At the end of this this 45 minutes what has been a very very tight affair here in Cardiff <laughs> for me to send tumbling Cruz set it's been impressive so far a cruise what a challenge what a challenge that was from Camila Billy she wasn't holding back there was she it's her 73rd appearance in Europe tonight which is a record incidentally for an outfield player Delhi has to go around the outside of Renard and not many get the better of Wendy Renard in that sort of situation. So inside the final minutes of the first half, the main stories being Alex Morgan, the gamble to start with her not paying off. She came into this game Doubts over her left hamstring and seemingly got the better of her. The only change had to be made. Delhi surrounded by three. Very set. Two additional minutes. Got it on him. Christian. Oh. Can't get the better of Mbok. Bodeshan. Bit fortunate. Could be a break on here for Leon Hegeberg to try and time a run to perfection. Roswell was Grace Giotto. Read the run of Hegeberg at the very off. Good defending. Christian once more deep to make things happen. This is where she's dangerous, just running at defenders, but Saki Kamagi standing firm. It worked. Lawrence is balling. Christian. Great chance right at the very end of the first half. Wicked delivery from Ashley Lawrence. And it fell to somebody who has been banging form in this competition. 
He would have expected her to have been bulging the net from there. Maybe just a little touch from Delhi did enough to put her off in the end. But that's the first 45 minutes done and dusted. And it's a very cagey affair, a very tight affair. Chances at a premium, but good chances anyhow, especially for Shirley Cruz, who forced a very good save from Sara Buadi. Leon looking to defend their title, but Paris have stood firm so far. And at half time, it is Olympic Leon a nil, Paris Saint Germain nil. It's impossible to take hold of the world's spotlight overnight. Create your own uniform. Be a cover model, a powerful athlete, or compete as a trans woman. Impossible? No. I am possible. Welcome back, everybody. The supporters are enjoying themselves. They've got, out of the 45 minutes, maybe a little more. To see whether Lyon or Paris Saint-Germain find a goal that could see them to Champions League glory. 0-0. Paris suddenly with the better of the first half in terms of creating opportunities and I'm sure Gerard Pachur will have had words to his players at half time just emphasizing the threats of Paris Saint-Germain in particular with the ball over the top it's caused them many problems Viviana Steinhaus gets us back underway. 2017 final of the Women's Champions League is still very much in the balance. Who is going to come out on top? Will it be Leon and recording a fourth European title? Will it be Paris Saint Germain being crowned? Champions League winners for the very first time. One of the big stories in the first half was the disappointment in seeing Alex Morgan having to go off with injury. Leona made a bright start. The early change seeing L.O.D. Tommy's come on as her replacement. Sally for Modishan to take this free kick after Le Sommer was fouled. It's into a dangerous area and very nearly creeping in. Hegerberg was very nearly celebrating. And in fact, the final touch actually came off Amanita Giano. The knee of Giallo. Oh. Whisker past the post. Off the ankle. As close as really Leon have come. What a chance delivery, and the free kick has gone against now, Eugenie Le Sommet here. But very quick. Maybe on a Steinhaus across to deal with the situation. You wouldn't want to really get on the wrong side of maybe on a Steinhaus, uh, a police officer by trade. That was the coming together. Had a, another very good scoring season. 20 league goals and six goals in eight appearances in this season's competition. Here it is. I don't think there's, there's not much in that at all. An 
Illinois is simply making more of this. No use of an elbow or an arm or anything like that. Patrice Lair played and coached to the lower leagues in France. And, uh, he knows all about Olympic Lyonnais. Four year spell, head coach of Lyon, fully titles, three Coupe de Ponces, and two Women's Champions League titles. Okay, it does restart. It's Paredes. This is Cruz. Sure. A little fortunate. Kumagi. Lawrence saw set off for the throw again. She came across to France straight out of University, in West Virginia. She's uh, Toronto born. She can speak a little of the language. It's not bad, she's described it as. Gioro. Perrine skips it away. Apili. Delano is back on the field to play now and seems okay. Surely wish she was punched in the back there by Delanoy. Maybe just a little bit of retribution back to Eugenie Le Sommer after the coming together of the two just a few moments ago. Send it for to deliver here. Score it in crucial wins of Manchester City and of Wolfsburg. Set piece is fired too close to the Paris Saint-Germain goalkeeper. It's disappointing from Marichan in the end. have never won the top flight of women's French football. Their only major silverware really was the Coupe de France in 2010 when they beat Montpellier. Montpellier finishing above them in the league this season. It's her nods. Aishri. Billy she did well. The summer. Seemingly a target here now. It looked like Perisic. It's recent to drag the summer to the ground. Chance delivery, it's a better one this time. Oh, it might just work out! And oh, no, goodness me! Ada Hengerberg, how on earth has she not given Leon the lead? Fine stop, and then, oh dear, just how big a miss was this? She had to stab at it, she had to be oh so quick with her reactions. And in the end, it flashes wide. And the clearest chance of the game so far for Leon falls to there. Hot marks woman. She fails to even hit the target. Good chance for Ada Hegerberg. For all her 
record in this competition, 22 goals in 27 appearances. Extraordinary. She's looking to creep it behind here, but the flag is up. It's the right call as well. Just to bring the Norwegian back. She was the only player to score more goals than Cristiano Ronaldo in UEFA competition in 2016. She hasn't scored in Europe since she bagged a hat-trick at home to Zurich in November when they won 8-0. That after they won 9-0 in Zurich in the previous leg. Some 17 0 aggregate win. Le Sommer, lovely touch, and they change the pace as well. Le Sommer finds a cross. Oh, goodness me, what a collision! And it's gone Redard's way. Both players were not holding back there, and it's the Leon skipper who's come off worse. Oh, that was a high period, and Jello could be fortunate here if she doesn't receive a yellow card. Well, she does, confirmation of that for Amanita Jello. French international, a debut year in this competition. She was brought in from Gengomp in the summer. And up onto her feet. Featuring in her 10th for Women's Champions League campaign. So it's just have to be able to take part in uh, uh, the say on what happens with this set piece. But he hangs it up here, it's too close to the goalkeeper. by far the better inside the first 10 minutes but a little bit of respite here for Paris Saint-Germain a silly free kick conceded by Buchanan just any momentum it's of uh, the Lyon sales really just starting to build has been a promising first Ten minutes to the second half. Renard's back on the field to play, incidentally. But uh, a change being made, and Jello is going to be coming off. And we uh, see Veronica Bouquet come on here. On the field she comes. Some there it was. Well, Ken incidentally coming on, and she's facing Jennifer Modishan on the other side. Both of those players were in the Frankfurt side that beat Paris Saint Germain in the 2015 final, incidentally. Delanoy for it. Three at the back now. And then Bork Reynard and Buchanan. 
extra emphasis for the likes of Tommies and Majri to get even further forward. Ebok under pressure. Still under pressure. Very safe with that. Throw it. Monashan. To hunt down here, Elegy Thomas. And Thomas is balling. Broken. Oh, weren't really on the same wavelength there, ball staying in play as well, and now has gone out of play, and it will be on be a goal kick. A change of pace there, as we have a look at Pauline Bremer. The uh, German is going to be coming on here. And Ada Hegerberg, her evening is done with this is a big call this for a player who has scored plenty of goals today uh, this season i should say but she has not had the opportunity today the player who opened the scoring in last year's final has lasted just short of the hour bramer has come on score in the Women's Champions League this season. Very promising German cheers. Monashan. Both coaches making early changes. Second half to try and change things. Somero be the major threat through the middle now for Lyon. Cruz, maybe the wrong ball. Maybe Christian was the better pass. Bouquet, very, very exciting prospect is Veronica Bouquet, the Spaniard. Shelly Cruz. The turn by Delhi. No way through. Tommy's. She is quick. Modishan! It's a decent hit. But it was right down the neck, right down the throat of the goalkeeper. And they came forward with so much pace there, didn't they? Since that Leona been clicking through the gears as the second half goes on. Tight it was in the Coupe de France final. Paris winning by just a single goal. In their first league meeting this season. Lyon putting Paris to the sword in the second. Cruz. Shelly Cruz plays it forward, and Delhi has put it wide. Big moment in the final for Paris Saint-Germain. Inch perfect through ball, and Delhi misses the target. Could that, could that come back to haunt her? Come the end of 90 minutes.
golden chance and chances at both ends. Just a bit more about the two teams now. What we saw in the first half, which was a very cagey affair, and understandably so, it's a final. Paris were under the cosh for... Oh, and it... Flag is up. That's a let-off. Oh, Cristiani, she is absolutely furious. Was she offside? No, she was not. And she's got a right to be furious as well. But Leon were just starting to turn the screw, weren't they? And Paris have been able to weather the storm at the start of the second half. We've got a final on our hands. Kumagi, he wants it. Lawrence takes over and she's got a real abundance of pace. In fact, has uh, just caused a little bit of damage, it looks like, to Mbok. Off. There's a little bit of pressure on Gerard Pressure's side. They equal Arsenal's record of 79 European games by a, a women's team tonight in the final. It's Christian. Harry said. Cruz. of that South American magic to proceedings here. Oh, it's a heavy touch from Monishan. And Paris Saint-Germain are just starting to gather some real momentum and growing confidence as Kumaki is showing a yellow card. Just got there ahead of her. It's the Paris supporters who are making all the noise in that far corner. Eve Perry said, fancy her chances from such a, a fair way out. Redis is forward. Redis' delivery is uh, a disappointing one. Duarte called into action in the first half and made a fabulous save to deny Shirley Cruz. What a shot. Abili. Spains uh, are coming together here and uh, looks like Kied Rezinek has come off worse with this coming together clearly wanting a goalkeeper Grace Giorno to come and gather this and she did and she's Clocked to right knee in the side of the head, and that will be a, a sore one. It's a lack of communication, really, there between Kiev Rezinek and Grace Gioro.
of the Cardiff City Stadium, based a mile and a half or so from the at main event on Saturday when Real Madrid take on Juventus. So the uh, home of the Welsh national football team as well. But this was the big moment for Paris Saint-Germain. Not so long ago when Delhi put this effort wide. Oh. And you wonder if they are to conquer the three times winners of this competition. It's putting chances like that away that they have to do. side were rumbled in last year's semi-finals by Olympic Lyonnais. Paris were beaten 7-0 in Lyon. Eckerberg scoring a couple of goals, Le Sommer also. A time when Luisa Netzib was also part of the Lyon ranks, who's now no longer he bowed out of playing for Lyon with the Champions League winners medal around an egg last season. Viviana Steinhaus will be adding all this on, so sure there'll be a, a better bit of added time to be had once the 90 comes around. And a Mexican wave starts to go around the Cardiff City Stadium. Twenty minutes to go. That was Bouquet. It's a fun time to have a bit of a breather. Christian. Anything can happen when the Brazilian is on the ball. Slight of foot, close control. Paredes. Denny Paredes again. Leon looking for an unprecedented second successive League Cup and European treble. been done before but not twice in a row here's a Billy Modishan who uh, grew up in Hungary born in Budapest Tomis nicely done from her and the final touch of Lawrence and it will be a corner to Leon Tommy's was the early change needed to be made by Olympic Lyonnais after Alex Morgan had picked up another injury with that troublesome hamstring she's having to deal with in the first half. Hamga hey. Puel and uh, Kiedo Zinek claims very well. He wasn't happy. And his uh, team actually arrived late for their training session last night. Gerard Pressure was still able to have their allotted time, but not from ideal preparation wise, he says. What a shan! Able to pick out Bremer.
Harris have been able once before to get one over Olympic Lyonnais in European competition during the 2014-15 season. Harris beat Lyon 2-1 in a round of 16 and would then go on to lose the final against Frankfurt. Buati, fortunate that he's only gone out for a corner. Would have been a whole lot worse. I have the ball. It will be Shirley Cruz to take this corner. Can Paris Saint Germain profit? Here comes from Cruz. Le Sommet. Just to backtrack, not too much in the way of support. Skips away. Marishan. Twice a Champions League runner up with Frankfurt. Mind you, should it stay like this? The end of the 90 minutes, then we will need extra time. Potential lottery and penalty shootout to determine the winners of the 2017 Women's Champions League final. Prevail inside the final 15 minutes here in Cardiff. Mashri. That has been such a buzz about the city this week. It was the home of FA Cup finals in England for a number of years. Was Wembley Stadium in London was being redeveloped. This is a, a footballing nation seemingly profiting from their good display of the European Championships last summer in France. Uh, mainly a, a rugby loving nation as is France as well but more for Wales way of life really Market. Le Sommer. Wide again. And Bremer. She gather it, get it under control. Still going on. It's Kumarkin. Wendy Renard. Block for Abili. Just signed a one-year deal last month to keep her at Olympic Lyonnais. Bremer and the summer gets across in. Too close. Too close, Ginac.
What a shot. Oh, listen, man, couldn't get there. Right on the stretch, just couldn't get a toe to it. Two thousand four, three, three. Fabulous to see so many inside the Cardiff City Stadium. for Paris Saint-Germain, Laura Gugas is going to be coming on. And once on that Chile cruise, they were in the Lyon squads that won the first of their two Champions League titles under Patrice Lair in 2011 and 2012, and it will be Gugas on for Cruz. Shan, referee happy for it to continue and straight away in the thick of it was Kukas. And a yellow card, welcome to the final. That must be the quickest yellow card in Champions League history. That is some collision with Le Sommet. Talk about not quite being up with the pace of the game. come down to one mistake, one piece of magic. Asher with the throw, it's it back again. Forward for Lussomare into some space. To Delanoy. Oh, oh, and it very nearly went in. Lussomer picked out a cross, somehow. And very nearly crept into the back of the net from such an angle. Embok, Kumaki. Wide for Mashri. Is to shoot. Bokert in the way. The summer seems to be dragged to the ground. And Perry said, oh, the arm around the neck, there's no doubt about it. And Art is in there to cause a nuisance with this set piece score in the 2011 final as it's held up in towards the goalkeeper Renard's there and uh, oh, yet again Katarzyna Kierrzynek is down injured that was all slow motion if you like it is yeah, now as we see it I see anything wrong with that at all Be 
much in the way of coming together with Wendy Renard. Yeah, she was a, a goal scorer in the 2011 final against Potsdam. She opened the scoring in that 2-0 win in front of a mum who had made the trip across from Martinique. To get her hands on the trophy for a fourth time. Measuring towards the summit. Too high for her, Bouquet. E. Cannon. Fortunate there, Kadisha Buchanan. I've had an old German final in 2006 when Potsdam faced Frankfurt. Never have we had a all French final in either the men's or the women's game. Yeah. Yeah. The tired legs are there, tired minds, but as it stands, we've got another half an hour to play. Extra time looms here in Cardiff. Kumagi, Apili, Bremer, Majri. She needs the support. Certainly lacking. Christian. Formiga. Not seen or heard much of her at the second half. Formiga. So for Christian. All of the ball, remember, has to go over the line. The summer. Kumaki can't link up with Apili. Christian. It's good defensive positioning from Renard. Heavy touch though from Renard. She got lucky. Monashan. Now and Bok. Just look back at that chance in this second period. She put her effort wide when she had to do was put the ball in the net. But it may just come back to have a negative effect on Paris Saint Germain. scrap it a little more tense out there as well knowing just how much is at stake very set 
Bouquet. Pressure from Christian to keep her in the corner. Bremer keeps it in play. Abili towards the summer. Could be done. It's a little short for Paredes. Rushed into clearing it away. Incidentally, now Shirley Cruz has gone off. Captain's armband is with uh, Sabrina Delanoy. The Paris Saint-Germain, this is Bremer. 42 miles as to what she wanted to do. Christian. Bouquet. Christian again. Lawrence making a move. The left flank. Bouquet, work out for her. Buchanan, no nonsense. As we enter the final minute, there'll be some additional time. Expect around four or five minutes, perhaps, with the stoppages that we've had due to injuries, in particular for Katarzyna Piedrzinek, the goalkeeper of Paris. Morishan to take it first time and try and catch Piedrzinek out at any post. A nice idea. Wasn't that close? <laughs> Eve Perish then. Six minutes. Paris has got an injury. Six more minutes of normal time to be played to find a winner. Billy, Maishiri, so back again here, Amir Maishiri, Kumagi, Maishiri once more, possession football from Lyon. time looms for his side again in the final of the Champions League. This was the case 12 months ago. He eventually came out on top of Wolfsburg. Penalties. You can Chance header. It's in play by Mbok. What a chance again. Oh. Under the threat of Tommy's changes. A minute. <laughs> so the 
end of the evening for E. Perry Set, who's been one of Paris's uh, shiny lights tonight, and Pearl Maroney coming on. Just a couple of appearances this season for Maroney. She's only 19, the quarterfinals and semi finals. She's played just 14 minutes of European, European football this term as Denny is. Simply picked up an injury here and needs strapping up at the touchline. So Paris, a lady light at the moment. Measuring. Strong challenge. But when it back of Leon through a Billy. Billy still. Full swipe by Kioro. Don't want to be conceding any silly free kicks now. Which gives either Lyon or Paris Saint Germain the free attempt to get a ball into the penalty area. What Brem is looking for. Here is Deli. Christian. Formiga. Paredes. Will it be as close on Saturday evening when Real Madrid and Juventus are in town for the men's Champions League final? What a final. What a final it will be. To the final minute of stoppage time. Tommy's lightning quick, but so is Lawrence. And she's won the free kick as the Canadian did so well there to get a body across Tommy's and any contact down she goes that could just be that okay one last chance maybe for Paris here. <sighs> Should really have gone wide again. Four lines will be on Bibiana Steinhaus. She has a look at her watch. <laughs> we will need 30 minutes more. Lyon and Paris Saint-Germain unable to be separated after 90 minutes and just was the case a week or so ago in the Coupe de France final these two are going to need to go to extra time maybe penalties we will wait and see both sides with chances in the second period to score to even win it but for Lyon if they are to defend their title they are going to have to do it in extra time or penalties, just as was the case 12 months ago against Wolfsburg. Do join us in a few more moments from now for the start of extra time.
Welcome back, everybody, to the Cardiff City Stadium. And if you are just joining us, we're going to extra time here, nil-nil, between Olympic Lyonnais and Paris Saint-Germain. The 2017 final of the Women's Champions League. So, which way is this going to go? Lyon and Paris Saint-Germain have had golden chances. But, uh, as it stands at the moment, being able to take those clear, good chances. And we need 30 minutes more. 50 minutes apiece, and then, who knows? Might be penalties. This is Lawrence for Paris Saint-Germain. Created the better of the opportunities in the first half. Had to really weather a storm in the second half before having a golden chance through Marie Deli. She failed to take. And played through superbly well by Shelley Cruz. Ada Hegerberg with Leon's best chance missing from just a couple of yards out towards Paredes. Bremer towards Le Sommet. here getting their money's worth <laughs> 22,000 just under 22 and a half thousand inside the Cardiff City Stadium today this final teams of uh, fair contingent that have made the trek across the channel it's Wendy Hanard and Bok Kadisha Buchanan Mock again. So she might have made all of their changes. do have one more available to them. Tomis is quick. She'll do well to get on the end of this. Swine defending from Paredes. Christian smiles and have to go look with the referee at the start of extra time. physical side of things but mentally as well as that we will be able to deal with the pressure the most in extra time they've been here before as recent as to a week ago they met at the Coupe de France final and Paris were beaten 7-6 on penalties
Maestri. Tries to score in that shootout. It's Bremer. Leon will get nothing. They're going to be a little kick. Bremer complete a innocence in German to our German official. Joint record sixth final for Olympic Lyonnais. Same record as uh, Frankfurt. Six finals, three wins so far. Scored 32 goals en route to getting to the final, including 10 over two legs with. Abelmez and then the round of 32 and then FC Zurich in the round of 16 where 17 of those came. Tiger affairs against Wolfsburg and Manchester City. That's Madri! She had a sight in the first half. It's comfortably played by Giedra Zenek and similarly here, same end as well. Maggie for Mashri. Somehow he flagged offside and Kamani goalkeeper in this side. Moroni. It's a free kick. Spots it up nicely, and there's a Billy and Le Sommer in a little bit of space here. Wide for Modishan, he wraps a right bit around that, he's in towards Le Sommer, it's parried out and calls for a penalty. And the referee, Fabiana Steinhaus, says, Let's play on. A little bit ragged defensively there were Paris Saint Germain. Madri, caught by Christian, yes, says the referee, and the pressure will continue to stay upon Paris Saint-Germain here. That was the penalty appeal. So the referee wasn't interested in awarding any spot kick. Central three in the wall. Modishan does hit it. It was central. And uh, Kendra Shinak took up a good position centrally. Stood firm again. Moroni for Paris. 
no way through. More opportunities on target. Olympic Lyonnais. To be credited with a goal, however. Ball and the flag stays down. Christian in the center, Bouquet making a move in there now. And look at this, Tommy, just so quick. Get it away across to smash it out of play. He's going to bring it back for the free kick, anyhow. But the flying challenge that came in there. Caught by her own play, yes. Aroni clattering in to uh, Paredes. minutes of action here in Cardiff still these two cannot be separated okay it's all oh, she's looking she is very lucky she wasn't going anywhere Christian, only picking up the Brazilian. Omega. 39 year old changed things. Paris's way. Christian can't get beyond two. Modishan now. Bagui and Abili. Pick out here, what a shan. Leon's way. Monashan looks to curl it. Oh, that would have been some goal had that found the top corner. Sending for Monashan is a danger. Three goals in the competition this season, 11 in 29 Women's Champions League appearances. Presenting Germany these days. She was a gold medalist at the Olympic Games last year in Rio. Gold for the women's team turned out to be silver in the end for the German men's team. Clearance. Okay, that looked like handball from Kumagi. That's all it will be. Just falling on it. And the 
Spania provides. This delivery. It just hangs it up there. Delanois flick on. Paredes. Doesn't work out for Paris. Inside the final 30 seconds. The first half of extra time. Modishan. Kamagi. Buchanan, Kamagi, and that will be that, the first 15 minutes has flown by, and just another 15 to go, otherwise penalties will determine the outcome of this final. It's been tense, it's been tight, KG. Lyon and Paris Saint-Germain, a case of déjà vu. And these players, some will be the biggest 15 minutes now of their careers. Look at the passion, determination of Patrice Lair. He knows how to win this competition. He's done it twice with the opposition. Patrice Lair, who's the former Montpellier coach and also the under 17s uh, coach of uh, Rwanda. An incredible array of coaching experience. Leon Reddy, the final messages to the players now. Plenty of tired legs, tired minds. And as the famous Paris Saint Germain saying, dream big, that's exactly what they will be doing. New Reform, Plus Grand. Still well and truly in with a shout of winning their first Champions League trophy. Something that the men's team have never been able to do. Something with the financial backing that the men's team are expected to challenge for year in, year out now. Bouquet. And Bok. Oh, she can't keep it in play. The final change. Claire Labouguez is getting ready. Fresh legs for Lyon to come on here. She hasn't featured in the competition since November. Again, where she scored twice in. Uh, Comfortable 9 0. Oh, Winning against Zurich. Here's Le Sommet. She dragged down. Referee very quick to say ball was won and up you get. Maroni. Christian. the change and so LED Tommies who came on as a substitute in the first half early on in the first half to take the place of Alex Morgan is uh, being substituted the substitute is being subbed so level gets comes on what sort of impact can she have on proceedings here? She's another member of the Lyon side, that Paris side as well, that have been selected for the upcoming European 
championships for France. Mastery's clearance. Formiga. Lavoguez looking to be involved here. Force Paris all the way back, and they do. He's going to blink first. His battery's there to get one over his former employers on the biggest stage. Women's club football. Apili. Kamaki, can she get there? She can. She opened up for the shot, perhaps Kamaki. But the turn was loose on air and turned into trouble. And now Delhi can bring it away for Paris here as she just keeps on going. Run out of legs, run out of uh, space in the end. He's up here. But Lissomer, but they were a little open there with Paris Saint Germain as if. Fell kindly for Kumagi. She might have had a, a blaster goal herself. Bernard. Majuri. Lavoguez. Abili. Ten more minutes. Kumaki. Ten more minutes to avoid a penalty shootout. Majuri. We go again. Buchanan. And Bok. Three in the center to pick out. Lissome is one of them. Just about managing to hold on. Not only just so. Katarzyna Kiedrzynik. Just well under the high ball tonight. Is the Paris Saint Germain goalkeeper. What a shot. A little isolated at the moment. Paredes back to a goalkeeper. Christian, what a touch that was. Measuring. Christian Nixon. Lawrence, nicely done. Time, there are no rush here, Paris. Christian Lawrence Christian just no way out of a very, very tight spot. Renard, long ball game now for Lyon. 
That is certainly not one of her best by her own standards, Wendy Renards. Played by Ashley Lawrence. Still the duel between the two Canadians on the field of play. Continues and remains unresolved at the moment. Best of friends off the pitch. With uh, Kadisha Buchanan. It's been uh, very, very steady indeed. The heart of the Leon backline alongside Wendy Renard. <laughs> he wins the free kick. Oh, that'll be a free kick, and that'll be a yellow card. was uh, a horrible sound it has to be said the connection the coming together of the two players and uh, Phil Maroney is going to go in the book here Steve Braver flying Fortunately, both players are okay. Late evening entertainment for those inside the Cardiff City Stadium, but we're to have late evening drama, perhaps. As we approach the final five minutes of extra time, comes the free kick. It's touched on, it's hacked away towards Moroni. Shan for Buchanan and Bok flag stays down on her as well. Paredes Maroni's clearance sliced out of play. Kumagi. Marjorie. All pulled out, Bremer. Now this is Christian. She's all on her own at the moment. The support is starting to arrive. But she's held it up well. Delhi. We go wide again. Gioro. And Delhi, can she get there? She can, she can find a cross. But then can only find Sarah Buati. She's got that right thigh heavily strapped now. Not the quickest anyhow, but probably lost a little more pace as well. Gig is tracking back just to shield this out from the Samar. Encouraging from Paris Saint-Germain. fans who really have made it over in numbers and a poor year in Europe the men's team and the best when it comes to Ligue 1 also Monaco winning the league title in France the ladies are doing the club very proud indeed as 
is the case for Olympic Lyonnais also. coming deep. Majuri. Bremer. Majuri to get it onto Abili and did so effectively. Kumaki now. Bodesha making the move through the centre and wanted it. Bremer. It's poor. It'll be too casual in such an area, Paris Saint-Germain. Yeah, she keeps it in play as well. Standing firm was Buchanan. And she keeps going as well, Kadisha Buchanan here. Apili. Buchanan. Bonashan over the top. To the head of Delanoy. And Bok. Into the final minute now of extra time here in Cardiff. Still Leon nil, Paris Saint Germain nil. Penalties loom. Free kick to Leon in such a position. Sabrina Delanoy has conceded the free kick. But Samer feeling the contact. Nervy times now, I'm sure, for Paris Saint Germain. It led to Majuri to take control of this free kick, try and provide something special. If Majuri goes for goal, that's fairway wide, despite the, the goalkeeper scrambling across to a left. They got there anyhow. to stop his time and we will have penalties to determine the outcome of the 2017 UEFA Women's Champions League final just as it was a year ago Olympic Lyonnais prevailed over Wolfsburg will they get the better of Paris Saint-Germain and earn a fourth title or will it be Paris who will succeed and be crowned Queens of Europe for the very first time. It was a tight affair in extra time. There wasn't too much to go with. And uh, chances at a premium, really. But now it's down to the selected few that will have to stand up and try and place the spot kick into the back of the net. Chances for both throughout the match, chances to win it. Borishan on the turn here, looking to try and find that top corner. A bit of sensational goal from Zenifer Morishan. Always rising, never coming down. That's really as good as it got for Leon, who brought off Ada Hedeberg. See there, she's gone around giving the high fives and Right behind her teammates, brought her off after an hour, and Alex Morgan, you can see there in her tracksuit, she came off 
in the first half early on due to uh, a hamstring injury that had come back to haunt her. So that, that she would have been fit and able to play. It's been a long, old slog, this one, it has to be said. Well, there's actually been uh, right up there for the purists, certainly, but the time now to make yourself a hero. So it looks like Paris will be first up. And it's going to be a, a shootout that's going to take place in front of those Paris fans to the right end here of the Cardiff City Stadium. Twelve months ago, it was Wolfsburg who reigned in Europe courtesy of a, it was uh, Leon, I should say, over Wolfsburg, courtesy of a 4-3 penalty shootout win. A fortnight ago, it was Leon who beat Paris Saint-Germain in the Coupe de France penalty shootout. Will it be the same story again? First up will be Christian. Bouadi didn't feature in the Coupe de France final, so she didn't feature in the shootout. Fell for Méline Gerard, who was in goal on that occasion. Well, Christian, who didn't take a penalty for Paris will step forward with the first one here the first penalty at the shootout and she just coolly rolls it home that's how you take a penalty Squaddy gets the wrong way Amel Majri was the first to step up for Lyon in the Coupe de France shootout. Step up she did and she made sure of her penalty on the spot. Kondrashinek just trying to delay things. Oh, and it's right underneath the goalkeeper. Majri fortunate, but effective at the same time. Oh, and the cry of anguish and despair from the Paris Saint-Germain goalkeeper. How close was that? Sabrina Delanoy. She proved successful in this situation in the Coupe de France final. Against Sarah Bouadi here. And she scores. Very well executed. Jenny Le Sommer. The stats are going in the same order as they did in the domestic cup final. Sommer 
20 league goals this season, 32 goals in 52 Champions League appearances. And from the spot here, she's missed it. What a save. First blow, Paris Saint-Germain. It's a stunning piece of goalkeeping to deny Eugenie Le Sommer. What a save that is. The first miss of the shootout. Grace Gayoro. How is your nerve? Oh, and Buwani! Comes up trumps for Leon. Never look comfortable. And Buwadi gets the right way early, got herself into position and made the stop. So back-to-back -back misses. Next up, the skipper, Wendy Renard. In her 10th Champions League campaign, her 65th appearance in the competition, eager to win a 20th major title with the club tonight. And Renard right in the corner. How about that? What a penalty. That's how you do it. Next up. Marie Delhi. Full of goals in Europe this season, another member of the French European squad for Euro 2017. 16 league goals, leading scorer for Paris Saint Germain this campaign. That's a very well taken penalty. Shootout goes on. And those two misses so far. One for either side. Hawadi not even interested in trying to stop that. Harris snudging themselves in front again. Rie Jembok. Next up against Katarzyna Kiedrzynek. Straight, direct run-up, wasn't it? And a very well-executed penalty. And a box scoring just as she did in the Coupe de France final shootout against Paris. <laughs> 39-year-old Formiga, the Brazilian, up next. She was successful as well a fortnight ago. Brought in in January until the end of June and looking to end the season on a major, major high. She has to try and dispatch this penalty beyond Sarah Buati. Oh, she does. Talk about in the corner. <laughs> Goodness me. Coach can't look. Sakai Kumaki struck a post in the Coupe de France shootout. She is a player who has won the lot. 
Ryan scored the winning penalty for Japan in a World Cup in 2011 against Alex Morgan's USA and also the winning penalty in last season's win against Wolfsburg. It's a long run up, all right. Here she goes. Oh. And once more proving effective. Sudden death. Veronica Boquet. <laughs> Business end of a shootout now. <laughs> Against Buadi and scores. The emotion on the face of the Spaniard says it all. And she might have just got fingertips to this, Buati. Zenifer. Marushan has to score. Has to score for Leon to keep this shootout going. Otherwise, Paris are champions. with the penalty spot and the ball just won't sit where Marishan wants it to. Here she goes, Marishan scores. As if there was to be any doubt <laughs> after all that. The shootout will go on. Five penalties apiece. And next up will be Ashley Lawrence, Canadian international, brought over recently, straight out of university in West Virginia. She's born and raised in Toronto. she fair here Lawrence all oh, right into the top corner she knew exactly where she wanted to put it and kept it high out of the reach of Buadi that is a super penalty next up is Camille Abili She had a loan spell with Paris Saint-Germain in 2009, an unsuccessful time as well in the United States. But back here with Lyon, 18 major titles behind her with Olympic Lyonnais. From the penalty spot, it's a Billy and scores. And showing all her experience there. The goalkeeper with the eyes, looking one way, dispatching the other. And it's all down to the goalkeepers now. 6-6. Six, six. Oh, she's put it wide! It looked like a horrible contact. And well wide it goes. Despair for Paris Saint-Germain. Will be left for Sarah Buati here to dispatch the successful penalty that earns Leon 
yet another treble. Here she goes. It's all over. Olympic Lyonnais are queens of Europe again. Their fourth Champions League title, and they've done it yet again. Courtesy of penalties. And it all came down to the goalkeepers in the end. And as Gerard Pressure says goodbye to his time as coach of Olympic Lyonnais, he ends with the greatest prize, and that is yet another Champions League title. Sarah Bouadi. The hero from the spot. Despair for Paris Saint-Germain. They come so close and beaten by Lyon on penalties again for the second time in a fortnight. As Paris consoled their goalkeeper, Kiev Rezinek, who put a penalty wide. Tears say it all for for every winner there has to be a loser and she had such a solid game today she really had and she made a stunning save in that shootout from Eugenie Le Sommer but it's Leon again champions again and they will now equal Frankfurt's record of four Champions League titles. Wendy Renard, goodness me. Yet another title behind her. Make that a 20th major title now for the club, for Wendy Renard. What a moment. Hegerberg and Le Sommer celebrate. Two players who have scored goals this season that have absolutely blown away opponents that have led to an 11th straight title in France. And now, along with Buadi's penalty here, maintains Lyon's grip on Europe. And it was a very well taken penalty wasn't it seven six exactly the same scoreline as it was in the cup final just a couple of weeks ago and jubilation amongst the Lyon ranks take it in take it all in they have done their club proud in front of their owner as well and Jean-Michel Aulas is here tonight watching on and once more Lyon create history but Paris gave everything and they had chances to win it as well golden chances to win it as well but so final margins in this game it just wasn't to be for them she is one of the best around Sarah Bouadi it's a 16th major honor with Leon now what is their 48, uh, her 48th appearance in the UEFA Women's Champions League tonight? And what, what a way to bring the season to a close. Hackerberg's goals have been 
integral to their success, not just this season, but last season as well. A penalty drama needed here in Cardiff tonight. Will it be the same? In just under 48 hours time when Real Madrid and Juventus take to the field up the road of the Principality Stadium. A decisive penalty. That went wide. And she goes across and she takes the applause, appreciation from the Parisian supporters that have made the journey from the Parc de France to be here tonight in Cardiff. You have to feel for her. You have to feel for her, and this is how it happened. She wanted to put it right in that corner. She didn't really connect with the ball the way that she would have liked to have. And wide it goes. support for her and for Paris Saint-Germain here in Cardiff tonight under the lights here in South Wales can't celebrate with mum just yet Presentation party led by the UEFA president Alexander Ladies Sheffer. and gentlemen, please welcome back onto the field the ambassador for tonight's UEFA Women's Champions League final, Jane Ludlow. The uh, head coach of the Welsh women's football team bringing on the trophy, the coveted trophy, Leon's trophy. That's whose it is. It's a beautiful trophy. It's been on show today alongside the UEFA Champions League men's trophy as well. It will be Leon who will form a guard of honour for Paris Saint Germain to come up and receive their runners up medals. Ladies and gentlemen, please could we have a warm round of applause for, and the, for the officials, of course, who will now receive their commemorative medals. Bibiana Steinhaus has had a very good game tonight and a fantastic performance from our referee. Not had to mention it too much, which is always a good thing. And appreciation towards the players as well. But for Bibiana Steinhaus, this has brought to an end a season which has been a an incredible one for her, knowing that she will be officiating in the men's German Bundesliga next season in a, in a major, major move. And it's uh, full credit to her, her ability as a referee. She has been able to be uh, a part of the roster for next year in the Bundesliga. time for Paris Saint-Germain led by their coach Patrice Lair former winner with Lyon in this competition on two occasions and leads his players up they receive their runners up medals with their and Paris Saint-Germain uh, chairman Nasser El Khalifi what a, a job he has done and the turnaround that he has done, the 
wealth that he's been able to put into Paris Saint-Germain and make them a force in Europe, no doubt about it. And seat down to the women's game as well that they've got here so well this season. The way that they've uh, put away top names the likes of Barcelona and Bayern München. Side, uh, Jean Michel Alas. <laughs> Tajina. Kedrijine getting a very, very fine ovation. It's going to hurt. It will really hurt. Chopin's back from it. You win as a team and you lose as a team as well, and she'll have great support around her. And to say, though, that runners up medal around her neck, she will not want it. And so. The champions start making their way up to receive their winners' medals. Winners of the 2017 UEFA Women's Champions League. They are champions again. Congratulations to both Olympic Lyonnais and Patti Sanderman on their contribution to this evening's match. Kadisha Buchanan picking up a, a winners' medal. Jennifer Modishan has played a, a vital role in her uh, performance tonight. And the smile on the face of Alex Morgan as well. So disheartening having to come off after well, just short of half an hour in the first half with a hamstring injury, which they thought they might just be able to get away with. And she was put in from the start. A bit of a gamble maybe by Gerard Pressure. And it backfired. And she can celebrate with a winner's medal. She missed out on the Coupe de France final. The debut season ends with a Champions League medal. Heide Hegerberg is getting used to walking up and receiving these medals. get towards the back Sarah Buadi the hero scoring the winning penalty and Wendy Renard looking to get her hands on this trophy once again the 2017 champions of Europe women's champions league winners again it is Olympic Lyonnais They reign supreme in Cardiff tonight. They are simply unstoppable. A fourth title level now with Frankfurt as the most successful team in this competition. And they have beaten Paris Saint-Germain. The lottery of the penalty shootout. And winners courtesy of a shootout for a second straight year. The celebrations will go long into the night here. And what a way to sign off for this man. Gerard Prochure will end his time as head coach of Olympic Lyonnais with a winner's medal around his neck. They are the champions, all right. 
And you do just wonder who can stop them. This is a, a Leon side who have now won back-to-back -back trebles. League winners in France, domestic cup winners, and now European champions. Winning 21 of their 22 league games, over 100 goals scored. They only conceded six times in the league this season. That's how impressive they are. And uh, they are the champions. Simply no stopping them, it seems. Take it all in, girls. There's going to be some real partying going down in Cardiff tonight. It's just something about Olympic Lyonnais and this competition. But, uh, they just know how to win. They've had to do it the hard way. They've had to do it the hard way. And this was the reaction once Buadi had sealed the deal. Such delight, such emotion. And the lifting of the trophy. What a feeling it must be for Wendy Renard to do it again for the fourth time. So here in Cardiff tonight at the Cardiff City Stadium, the Women's Champions League final has ended in success yet again for Olympic Lyonnais. Goalless after 120 minutes, but they have managed to come through 7-6 on penalties against Paris Saint-Germain. And for a fourth time, they are Queens of Europe.